All right. Well, uh, President Trump is getting widespread and almost unanimous praise uh, for his actions in Syria, the Tomahawk missile attack. Not everyone is, is happy about it. I mentioned what's been happening on some on the right who fear that he went beyond the authority of president without checking with Congress first. But there are others with military backgrounds who fear what he has started here. Remember the House of Foreign Affairs Committee, Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger on the phone with us from Latvia, which is, by the way, pretty close to Russia, uh, says that uh, uh, the Tulsi of, of, of Hawaii uh, stands out as someone who has been very critical of this, and he now very critical of the message she is sending. Congressman, very good to have you. Um, Thanks. She was effectively and essentially arguing, I think, this is an overstep and, and, and complicates matters. Uh, you say what? Well, I actually think uh, the president's action were very, actions were very clear cut. He said, look, the use of chemical weapons will have a greater cost than any benefit you'll receive. In fact, that cost is the existence of about 20 aircraft and uh, significant airfield structure. I think it sent the right message. Uh, I was in France yesterday. I'm in Latvia today. Our allies are extremely happy. They feel like we've kind of regained our role with, with such an act. And, uh, and, you know, when you have members of Congress, and there's a few of them out there basically repeating the lines of Moscow, uh, it's really kind of, uh, kind of shocking. It's one thing to say, you know, I don't believe we should attack. It's another thing to say there's really no proof that Assad yes, I think that is entirely a bridge too far, and it's very confusing to me why anybody would. We've reached out to uh, the congresswoman's office, and uh, she has not gotten back. Uh, but the, the, the issue here seems to be be careful what you wish for, Mr. President. Others have said this in varying degrees um, because now you own this and people expect the United States is knee deep back in this region. Is it? Are we? No, I don't think so. I think the president, I think his uh, administration made it clear that this is, you know, for now, one strike meant to send a very powerful message about the use of chemical weapons. It's something we have not tolerated on the battlefield since World War I until this, until this carnage that's been going on the last five years. I think it's the right message to send. It's not necessarily getting involved in regime change, but the other thing it really did is we're going to see that Russia will do absolutely nothing in response, even though a lot of people fear that somehow this would start World War III. And we also showed that the amazing, quote-unquote, Russian missile defense system uh, actually let 59 Tomahawk cruise missiles get through it unchallenged. So it sends a very powerful message, and I think the president was right on. He took his time thinking it through, but also didn't hand ring and wait too long. And, uh, and I'll tell you, our allies out here are just uh, ecstatic that we're regaining our place. All right. Uh, Congressman, thank you very, very much. Uh, again, uh, 